There are all sorts of different sort of rails and moldings and things you can put up on a wall, right? There's your sort of baseboard, you know what that is. Higher up you have what's called a picture rail, which isn't quite as high as a crown molding, but it's usually just a few inches below that, that white picture rail that slices up that wall a little bit. It just cuts it horizontally with like this crisp white line that I think makes the whole room sing. A picture rail has, a, has an S-curve at the top that you can actually put hooks onto, and you'll sort of hook those up onto that picture rail, and then with a piece of cording or ribbon, that's where you'll hang your pictures from. I've also seen it where people will hang a picture, and then they'll have two more ribbons, and then another picture, and then a single ribbon, and then another picture. Like, you can do all sorts of Because again, it's like, I kind of want to showcase the picture rail, mm -hmm. right, that we put it in the house. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't, it's that tricky line that we have to walk, right? Because we're staging a house, not so someone can live That's in a picture it, rail. So we hang this, and we hang that, we buy this, and we do this, and they do this. And you know, there's even times where you can get a picture here, and then you can hang another one here, another one here, and then it looks really great. But when you're in the store, you have to really, you know, kind of figure it all out, because, you know, you should paint it first before you hang it. It's just a really neat way to sort of dress up a house in a way that is very traditional and has, has a real sense of history to it. And I think it's just really unique and cool.